Good evening, and it's great to have you with us as we start another week here together. And we begin tonight with the coronavirus reaching right into the White House. Two people close to the president and vice president now testing positive. Some White House workers are now being tested daily. You'll remember we asked the president nearly a week ago if every American should have access to a test before they head back to work for reassurance to see if they've been exposed or to simply make sure a coworker isn't asymptomatic but contagious. Well, tonight that question is being asked again and with a renewed urgency. Because if White House workers are now getting these tests, should American workers have access to the test too? How the president answered that late today. And tonight we take note of the toll. The virus has taken more than 80,000 lives now in our country. Late today, the president saying he has ordered changes at the White House. At the Rose Garden event, the press secretary seen wearing a mask, as well as members of the Secret Service and the president's senior advisor, son-in-law Jared Kushner. Three task force members were not there, the CDC director, the FDA commissioner, and Dr. Anthony Fauci, all of whom are now under self-quarantine or some kind of modified quarantine after possible exposure to one of the White House staffers. Often at those task force meetings, Katie Miller, the vice president's press secretary, who is now tested positive. The vice president was not seen at today's event, but his office says he has tested negative and will not quarantine, and that many White House employees will have access to regular tests. So the questions today, will Americans get that access to? The president said every American who needs one can get one. But he was pressed, and our chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl, asking, should Americans have the same access to tests as workers at the White House? Today in the Rose Garden, a sign of a new White House reality. Almost everyone wearing masks. Just about everybody I've seen today has worn a mask. Yeah. Matt, uh, were you the one who required that, sir? Yeah, I did. I did. I required it. At least two people close to the president have tested positive, one of his military valets and the vice president's press secretary, Katie Miller. Senior staff at the White House are now getting tested every day, a luxury that's not available to most of the country, even as the president urges states to reopen. When will it be that Americans across the country will be able to get tested every day as they go back to work? Very soon. I mean, really very soon. But should people be told to go back to work until they have that assurance that they and their co-workers are able to get yeah. a test, which we're still not there? We're leaving that up to the governors, as you know. And if we see something wrong, we'll call them out and we'll stop it. But we are leaving it up to the governors. A follow-up from ABC's Jordan Phelps. Mr. Phil? President, there does seem to be a double standard here, Mr. President, where members of your own staff can get tests frequently when they need it. But ordinary Americans cannot. So yeah. when will the rest of America have the same access that members of your own White House have to testing? If we did no tests in the White House, you'd be up complaining, why aren't you getting tests for the White House? See, we can't win because if we didn't get the test, you'd be up. I understand you very well, better than you understand yourself. And frankly, if we did get tests done, you'd be up complaining. But the president also insisted this. If somebody wants to be tested right now, they'll be able to be tested. If I can just uh, get a clarification on the on the testing, we've seen clearly that the numbers of tests have gone up. There have been yeah. some advancements in testing. But you said twice here today that every American who wants a test can get a test. Yes. Uh, that's not the case. 1.9 million tests per day is far short of every American that wants a test to be able to well, get Well, I'm going to have the admiral, but I will say just from listening and hearing like you do, we all do, not everybody should get a test because they have to have certain things and they're going to know when they're not feeling right. Those are the people that will be getting the test. But Admiral, I'll let you take it from there, please. So everybody who needs a test can get a test. We have plenty of tests for that. Right now in America, anybody who needs a test can get a test in America with the numbers we have. If you are symptomatic with a respiratory illness, uh, that is an indication for a test and you can get a test. So Americans who are going back to work shouldn't expect and shouldn't need, shouldn't want to have the same thing that people coming to work here at the White House have, which is the ability to get tested regularly, regardless so, of symptoms. Let me clarify as well. People who come into close contact with the president get tested on a regular basis, okay? If I were not in close contact with the president specifically, I would not get tested. The press conference ended with this tense exchange. You said many times that the U.S. is doing far better than any other country when it comes to testing. Yes. Why does that matter? Why is this a global competition to you if everyday Americans are still losing their lives and we're still seeing more cases every day? Well, they're losing their lives everywhere in the world. 
And maybe that's a question you should ask China. Don't ask me. Ask China that question, okay? When you ask them that question, you may get a very unusual answer. Yes, behind you, please. Sir, why are you saying that to me, specifically? I'm telling you, I'm not saying it specifically to anybody. I'm saying it to anybody that would ask a nasty question That's like that. That's not a nasty Please question. go ahead. Uncomfortable moment late the day at that press conference in the Rose Garden. Let's bring back in John Carl live tonight because, John, in addition to being asked if American workers, you asked this question, should have same access to tests as the White House, the president was also asked today uh, if, as a precautionary measure, if he would separate himself from Vice President Mike Pence, of course, whose press secretary has now tested positive. And, David, he said that he has not been with Pence since that positive test came in on Friday. I am told that the vice president spans, uh, plans to spend another day or two away from the president. And assuming he still continues to get negative test results every day, he will be back with the president and at the White House by the middle of the week. All right. John Carl pressing the president on testing today. John, thank you. And to the Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.